Well, this morning we're going to go over uh, chapter 9 of Matthew. Uh, Christ heals a, he, a paralyzed man, telling him your f sins are forgiven. And, and the, these uh, Jewish teachers um, didn't say they were Pharisees. It says they were teachers. Um, called it blasphemy. And Christ confronted them. Saying, is it better to say you are healed than, because uh, they were having an issue with you know, him be having the authority to forgive sins. Uh, then, uh, then he recruits Matthew, who is a tax collector, and he eats at Matthew's house with, with other tax collectors and, and his disciples. And uh, he gets condemned for that. He, they, uh, and, um, and he told the his accusers, he told them that uh, I have come to call. Oh, he called the told the disciples, I have come to call n not those who think they are righteous, but those who know they are sinners. When asked why he and the disciples didn't fast, he stated, "Do wedding guests." mourn while celebrating with the groom. Then he compared them to uh, old cloth and old wineskins. Um, now think about that. You know. <laughs> okay. So, um, he says to, in Matthew chapter 9 12 and 13 jesus said healthy people don't need a doctor sick people do then he said now go and learn the meaning of this scripture so what he was talking about was i want you to show love not offer sacrifices i want you to know me more then I want burnt offerings. I want you to know me more than I want bur burnt offerings. I want you to know mercy, not offer sacrifices. For I have come to call not those who think they are righteous, but those who know they are sinners. And that, that is off of, um, oh, the, uh, Oh, one of the other prophets. The uh, so as, as I'm reading this, right? Um, Tuesday, or Monday nights. Uh, Jason Cisneros. Um, he's the bald Avenger, right? And he's got the misfit nation. And I'm like, oh my god, this this is what he's doing, you know. And it's it's really crazy how um, people like uh, Joe Dispenza not wanting to talk, not wanting to uh, you know talk about religion or God or any um, any specific religion. You know, don't want to mention Jesus, but he says the same things that he does. Right, he says the same things. Um, you know, what uh, Jason Cisneros does, he's um, he's an entrepreneur. Um, you know, he made his money finding businesses that were failing and helped them become profitable, you know, did business consulting, got them profitable. And then got him, and then you know, part, you know, participated in the profit sharing or or sold him, or, you know, got him to sell him, and you know he got a piece of the piece of the business, right? Um, he, uh, but his his causes are, um, human trafficking. That's how I thought. That's how I got to know him, right? 
um, uh, Craig Sawyer, another Navy SEAL, is a, is a tracker. Phenomenal. He can go into these places where you know they may not, they may not have they may have missed the the traffickers and the girls. And he can tell you how many you know girls were there and how many guys came in and had sex with them. I'm like you know, and how do you know that? And um, and then um, feeding a billion people with Tony Robbins and then uh, domestic violence. Those are his like three big causes, which all kind of resonate with me. I wish I was had the tracking skills. Um, and he works out all the time. He curses like a sailor, so I thought he was one. Um, but that's what he does, right? And I see, I tell you what, the Pharisees are alive in the church. I'll tell you that right now. Um, isn't that something? Isn't that something? You know, there, there's, you know, this is where it goes to, uh, where Christ said, you know, you know, don't judge anybody. Judge not lest you be judged, right? The same level you're being judged. Isn't that something? J. Paul Getty had a rivalry with um, William Randolph Hearst. They're both like the top, like the richest men in the world at the time. And Hearst was a big media mogul. And every time he would criticize Getty. Getty was trying to monopolize the oil industry at the time. And he was marshalling all of his resources to buy Tidewater Oil, which was um, standard oil was out of that, right? Getty already owned Shell and Texaco. Um, and uh, other oil companies. And, uh, but every time that uh, Hearst would, you know, poo-poo or um, discredit, you know, he was, you know, trying to undermine him, he, he'd always win. But what was really crazy is... Um, when Hearst's wife, her daughter, um, was kidnapped, Getty was right there. Because Getty had that with his boy. His son was kidnapped. They cut his ear off and mailed it to him. How about that? Um, so Getty had some empathy for that, right? Um, what, what, what Christ is saying to the... Uh, disciples it's easier to to get people who have failed to strive to have to have an impact to make a difference to do something good to change it's easier to get the ones who failed to to be righteous than it is for the ones, it is to get the ones that think they're righteous to do anything. How about that? How about that? You know, the, um, if we look at it like the Lord's Prayer, our Heavenly Father, who art in heaven, hallowed be thy name, thy kingdom come, Thy will be done on earth as it is in heaven. Give us this day our daily bread. And forgive us our trespasses as we forgive those who trespass against us. Lead us not to temptation, but deliver us from evil. That is the kingdom, the power, and the glory. Now and forever. Amen. Okay. 
if we if we if we realize that heaven is here on earth but it's up to us to create it there's a couple things we would do one we would find a way to get other people to read the scriptures learn the scriptures tell you what I, I this is my 13th time i have read the whole bible completely 13 times and this time around it's like i'd never read it before that's always been like every single time it's like that okay there's so much in it you you get out of it where your focus is at the time right or your understanding is like i did not understand the conscious mind versus the subconscious in the subconscious mind and um how that all works until i read it this time and i was looking for that specifically and i haven't got to revelations but going through daniel and ezekiel and isaiah and the prophets right it, it's all see all of that all the imagery that that john is describing in uh, revelations is already it's not new okay he got it from the prophets in the old testament and he's just trying to make sense out of it see that's part of his subconscious and so he's trying to figure out where christ fits what christ told him what christ taught him fits in that so what was christ doing see, there's that there was the covenant with with a Sam or Solomon on forgiveness. Now there was the articles of reconciliation under Moses as part of the Ten Commandments the second time after he broke the tablets and had to go up and give them again. Um, and the first one to have that actually 